Hello everyone. In this video, I will walk you through the M plus syntax for a growth mixture model. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to multivariate statistical methods and often including uh, a discussion of the M plus software. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the M plus input file for a linear growth mixture model. So let's take a look here and see how a model like this can be specified in M plus. You can see that at the top, I have my usual data and variable commands where in the data command, I list the data file that I'm analyzing. It's an individual data file with um, values for each individual on each variable. In the names list, you can see that I'm analyzing four variables here, x1 through x4. So those could, for example, represent repeated measurements of, a, of the same variable, which we would typically analyze with growth mixture models. For example, repeatedly measured intelligence scores or personality scores or something like that. So the same variable measured at four time points. The next command is specific to mixture models in M+. So whenever you have a model that involves unobserved heterogeneity, a latent class variable, or we could say a categorical latent variable, then you have to specify the classes subcommand as part of the variable command. So this classes subcommand works together with the analysis type equals mixture. So those two always have to go together in M+, whenever you have type equals mixture, you also need to specify this classes command to let M plus know the name of the categorical latent variable and the number of classes. So in this case, I called the latent class variable or categorical latent variable C. And so this is a label of my choice. And then the two here in parentheses, that indicates the number of classes that I'm assuming or that I want to extract. So in this case, it's a two class growth mixture model. So, and then I already told you under analysis, you have to specify type equals mixture. Otherwise, M plus will not extract multiple classes, even if you include the classes command. And then in the model statement, we have first of all a generic command that says overall. And so this overall command is always required with growth mixture models because you need to specify an overall model so to say that applies in general and then you can also you could have class specific statements where for example in a specific class you um, specify that certain parameters are freely estimated or that they are constrained in a specific way so in this case i'm going with the m plus default here and so in the m plus default we just have the overall statement and then intercept and slope factor here as we would specify them in a regular growth model as well. So this line of code here is the regular M plus syntax for specifying a linear growth model when the variables have equal spacing of time points. So in that situation, we have just one intercept factor and one slope factor, a linear slope or linear growth factor. The labels for these factors are uh, again user defined, so you could call them something else if you wanted to, they don't have to be called inter and slope. And so then this symbol here is for a random slope because it's a, an, a random coefficient, so to say, regression model where the intercept and slope are random coefficients that can vary between individuals. And then on the right hand side of this random coefficient, so to say, symbol here, we have um, the four variables with loadings fixed on the slope factor such that um, they the, so such that the slope factor will represent linear growth over time. And for that, the first variable does not load, so has a loading fixed at zero. The second variable had a, has a loading fixed at one, the third variable at two, and the fourth variable at three. And then the slope factor will represent linear growth, provided that we have equal spacing between time points. And so overall here means that this linear model holds in both classes, However, there could be different parameters. So for example, the means could be different for the 
growth factors. There could be a different intercept in each class and a different rate of growth or average rate of growth. And so those are um, parameters that would be set free, so to say, or to vary across classes by default in M+. And this is something that I show in a separate video when I discuss the output for a growth mixture model in M+. You can then also um, allow other parameters to vary across classes. For example, the residual or error variances could be set free such that the different classes maybe differ in their amount of error variance in the indicators and other things could also be tested by having class specific statements that could be included in the model for um, setting certain parameters free across classes. And then in the output option, we have the usual SAMSTAT and STDYX that we could use with regular models as well, non-mixture models. SAMSTAT just simply gives you the sample statistics for your observed variables, so meaning the means, the variances and covariances and the correlations, as well as univariate descriptive statistics for those four X variables. And STDYX will give you the completely standardized solution so that you can, for example, also look at factor correlations rather than just covariances. I hope you found this video useful to get started with a growth mixture analysis in the M plus software. In a separate video, I will discuss the output for this model. So stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to check out the description for additional resources and also for a link to my newsletter that I provide um, uh, every week. And then I'll see you next week.